first station. Jesus is condemned to die. It was early Friday morning when I saw my son. That was the first glimpse I had of him since they took him away. Then Pilate, from his chair of judgment, asked the crowd why they wanted my son executed. All around me they shouted, Crucify! Crucify! I wanted to plead with them to stop, but I knew this had to be, so I stood by and cried silently. Second station, Jesus takes his cross. The guards laughing behind him. Two men dragged over a heavy cross and dropped it on his shoulders. They then shoved him down the road. My pain for him was unbearable. I wanted to take the cross from him and carry it myself, but I knew this had to be, and so I walked on silently. Third station, Jesus falls the first time. I followed close behind my son as he stumbled towards Calvary. My heart dropped when I saw him fall, face to the ground, the heavy cross landing squarely on his back. Then the guards kicked him. He rose slowly and began to walk again, yet they still whipped him. I wanted to protect him with my own body, but I knew this had to be, so I walked on and wept silently. Fourth station, Jesus meets his grieving mother. I had managed to break through the crowd and was walking side by side with my son. I called to him through the shouting voices. He stopped. Our eyes met, mine full of tears and anguish, his full of pain and confusion. I felt helpless. Then his eyes said to me, courage, there is a purpose for this. As he stumbled on, I knew he was right. So I followed and prayed silently. Fifth station, Simon helps Jesus carry his cross. I could now see almost complete helplessness on the face of my son as he tried to carry his heavy load. Then I noticed some commotion near Jesus. The guards had pulled a protesting man from the crowd. They forced him to pick up the back of the cross to help lighten my son's load. Lord Jesus, I have many times refused to help you. I have been a selfish person who has often questioned your word. Have I not followed the Santa Sophia value of love? Not shown care for the environment you have given us? Not cared for all property, my own, others and the schools? Have I not stayed safe and kept my hands and feet to myself? or not worn uniform correctly, because I choose to follow the crowd and not the rules that are there to keep me safe and to help me belong in our community. Don't let me be like Simon, but help me to be like your mother Mary. Sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. As I continued close by Jesus, a woman pushed past the guards, took off her veil and began to wipe my son's sweaty, bloody face. The guards immediately pulled her back. Her face seemed to say, why are you doing this to him? I knew, so I walked on in faith silently. Lord, this woman gave you the best she could. On the other hand, I have wanted to take more than I give. So many opportunities arise every day for me to give to you by giving to others. But I pass them by. My saviour, never let me ask why again, but help me to give you all I have to you. Seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. Again, my son fell. And again, my grief was overwhelming at the thought that he might die. I started to move towards him, but the soldiers prevented me. He rose and stumbled ahead slowly. Seeing my son fall, get up again and continue on was a bitter anguish to me. 
But since I knew this had to be, I walked on silently. Lord, I have many times turned away from you by my sins and have caused others to turn away from you. Please help me to follow the Santa Sophia value of wisdom to help me make good judgments and decisions. Help me to see the world through your eyes. I beg you to have mercy on me. Eighth station. Jesus speaks to the women. I was walking a few steps behind Jesus when I saw him stop. Some women were there crying for him and pitying him. He told them not to shed tears for him. They had the opportunity to accept him as the Messiah. Like many others, they rejected him instead. He told them to shed tears for themselves, tears that would bring their conversion. They did not see the connection between that and his walk to death. I did, and as he walked on, I followed silently. My saviour, many times have I acted like these women, always seeing the faults of others and pitying them. Yet, very rarely have I seen my own sinfulness and asked your pardon. For the times I've looked for faults in my parents, my family, my friends, and my teachers. I am sorry. Lord, you have taught me through these women. Forgive me, Lord, for my blindness. Ninth station. Jesus falls the third time. This fall of Jesus was agony to me. Not only had he fallen on the rocky ground again, but now he was almost at the top of the hill of cru crucifixion. The soldiers screamed at him and abused him, almost dragging him the last few steps. My loving Jesus, I know that many times I have offered my hand to help people, but when it became inconvenient or painful to me, I left them making excuses for myself. Help me, Lord, to be like your mother Mary and never taking my supporting hand away from those who need it. Tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his garment. With my son finally relieved of the weight of the cross, I thought he would have a chance to rest, but the guards immediately started to rip his clothes off the blood-clotted skin. The sight of my son in such pain was unbearable. Yet since I knew this had to be, I stood by and cried silently. Lord, in my own way, I too have stripped you. I have taken away the good name of another by foolish talk and have stripped people of human dignity by my discrimination. Jesus, there are so many ways I have offended you to the hurt I have caused others. Help me to see you in all people. Eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. As they threw Jesus onto the cross, he willingly allowed himself to be nailed. As they punctured his hands and his feet, I felt the pain in my heart. Then they lifted up the cross. There he was, my son, whom I loved so much, being scorned as he struggled for the last few moments of earthly life. But I knew this had to be. So I stood by and prayed silently. Lord, what pain you endured for me and what pain your mother went through. See, her only son died for love of me. Yet, both you and her are ready to forgive me as soon as I repent of my sin. The Santa Sophia value of hope gives us optimism for the future. As to you, dear Lord, help me, Lord, to turn away from my sins and to have hope. Twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. What greater pain is there for a mother than to see her son die right before her eyes? I, who have brought the Saviour into the world and watched him grow, stood helplessly beneath his cross as he lowered his head and died. 
His earthly anguish was finished, but mine was greater than ever. Yet this had to be, and I had to accept it. So I stood by and mourned silently. My Jesus, have mercy on me for what my sins have done to you and to others. I thank you for your great act of love. You have said that true love is laying down your life for your friends. Let me always be your friend. Teach me to live my life for others and not fail you again. Thirteenth station. Jesus is taken from the cross. Then two men took the body from the cross and placed it into my arms. A deep sorrow engulfed my being, yet I also felt deep joy. Life had ended cruelly for my son, but it, but it had also brought life to all of us. I knew this had to be, and I prayed silently. 14th station. Jesus is placed in the tomb. We brought Jesus' body to the tomb, and I arranged it there myself. Silently weeping, silently rejoicing, I took one more look at my loving son, and then they were dark. They closed the tomb, and before I left, I thought, I knew this had to be. It had to be for you. I would wait in faith, silently.